Hello friends, myself Dr. Deepak Madhivedi, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, DAV College, Kanpur Nagar. Uh, you might remember in the previous lectures, we discussed various aspects of monocystis, paramecium and euglena. Uh, today, I am going to discuss a general topic in protozoa and it is nutrition in protozoa. So first of all, I would like to share you that what is nutrition? How can you define nutrition? So we can define just like this nutrition is a uh, is a process in which uh, food is taken in digested absorbed and assimilated or in other words we can say that it is the process by which the organism derive their nutrients essential for the growth and maintenance of their life activities so it includes ingestion, digestion and egestion process. So in protozoa, actually two types of nutrition is there and it is autotrophic or holophytic and second is heterotrophic nutrition. So first is autotrophic nutrition and number two heterotrophic nutrition. So first of all, autotrophic nutrition we will discuss this one autotrophic actually um, in this type of nutrition all phytoflagellates actually utilize carbon dioxide water and ultraviolet rays to synthesize organic food uh, material by photosynthesis so such photo protozoan show holophytic or autotrophic nutrition that is they synthesize their food by uh, by the process known as photosynthesis examples are euglena chylomonas some protozoans possess chlorophyll bearing algae zooxanthellae zooxanthellae which synthesizes organic food and uh, examples are paramecium bursaria Center polymorphous thalassicola. So these are the examples of autotrophic or holophytic nutrition. Now come to heterotrophic nutrition. And in heterotrophic nutrition, actually, um, what is this? How can we define this type of nutrition? Actually, some protozoans are uh, dependent on others for their nutrition right and major, uh, these protozoans get their nourishment by ingesting other organisms both plants and animals such type of nutrition is known as heterotrophic that is protozoans are dependent on others animal or plants for their nutrition right So heterotrophic nutrition includes three types of nutrition that is it is divided into three types. First is holozoic, it is also known as zootrophic, saprozoic and mixotrophic. So holozoic, saprozoic and mixotrophic. So come to the first type of um, heterotrophic nutrition, it is holozoic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition is animal like nutrition and uh, actually protozoans feed on the solid materials which consist of various microorganisms such as bacteria diatoms algae rotifers crustaceans small fragments of uh, plants and animals so this is nutrition actually it involves uh, many type of steps such as ingestion digestion and egestion so first we will uh, discuss ingestion. 
ingestion that is the food capture and its intake and it is brought about by their locomotory organelles and in amoeba amoebic form pseudopodia pseudopodia pseudopodium is the uh, you know um, locomotory organelle in case of flagellates flagella is locomotory organelle and in case of uh, you know ciliates cilia are the locomotory organelles so you can see that in different groups uh, actually the nutrition is affected by the presence of their locomotory uh, organelle so first of all uh, we will discuss in amoebic form that is in sarcodyna so rambler actually 1930 they reported four types of ingestion process in sarcodyne and these four types of nutrition process ingestion process are circumvallation circumfluence invagination and import so there are four types of ingestion process in sarcodynes number one is circumvallation actually when amoeba comes near its active prey active prey means such as paramecium then a food cup is formed food cup remember this a food cup is formed by the pseudopodia which surround it from all sides without contacting the food so that no contact between prey and the predator take place right so in this actually process you can see in the diagram that here food cup is formed and later on this <clears throat> prey actually ingested and uh, digestion take place in a food vacuole so actually edges of the food cup um they surround the prey to form a non contractile food vacuole having some water and then it is digested now come to next circumfluence circumfluence actually it occurs when food is less active or immobile in this amoeba ingest the food upon contact of pseudopodium by rolling over it and the protoplasm of the body actually flows you can see here in the diagram and ingest the food organism in a food vacuole by enfolding cell envelope so this is circumfluence where the contact is possible now come to third invagination process when amoeba comes in contact with the food and adhere to it the ectoplasm along with food material is invaginated as a tube into the endoplasm such as example is amoeba varicosa it is found in amoeba varicosa now fourth one is import import is what uh, actually when any food organism comes in contact um, uh, with the animals then uh, it sinks passively into the body and uh, there is a chemical attraction between food and amoeba is also and in radiolarians actually in polystomela uh, the food are not uh, directly taken into the cell but they stick to the exopodia or reticulopodia so that uh, food material uh, it remain stick to the um exopodia and then later on it is it gets digested as in the food vacuole now ingestion in mastigophora in flagellates it is um, brought about by their flagella so you can see that in this group uh, the ingestion of food is brought about by their flagella which produces water current containing food particles <clears throat> the food organism is ingested either at uh, definite sites on their 
नेकेड बॉडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो ब्लूडो फ्लैजलेट और देयर ओरल एपरेटर सच एस यूगलिन अ फ्लैजलेट एक्चुअली पेरानीमा दिस इज अ फ्लैजलेट इन दिस आ स्पेशल रॉड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर आर प्रेजेंट एंड दीज आर नोन एज ट्राइकाइट्स दे हेल्प इन कैप्चरिंग द फूड बाई फॉर्मिंग फूड कप्स एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट एट द साइड ऑफ साइटोफेंस सो इन पेरानीमा इट इज समथिंग डिफरेंट ट्राइकाइट्स आर प्रेजेंट नाउ इंजेक्शन प्रोसेस इन सीलिएट्स Actually, in ciliates, uh, the cell mouth or cytostome is very characteristic feature, and its position uh, varies in uh, different in different ciliates. Uh, it is uh, actually its uh, position is different, and in actually it is uh, present at front end in prorodon and diadenium, and this cytostome is slightly away from front end. that is lateral or ventral in position in colpoda and in paramecium additional buccal cavity vestibule occurs actually before cytostome which is actually a buccal cavity or pre oral cavity so in paramecium it is different because uh, vestibule is present and which is a pre oral cavity so on the basis of mode of food intake ciliates can be divided into two types first is first are surulars and second is gulpers surulars actually they perform filter feeding whereas gulpers perform raptorial feeding in surulars cytostome is a permanently open structure and uh, the food is ingested easily and passed to the cytopharynx but in gulpers cytostome is generally closed and it increases in size while ingesting large prey in surulars water current is produced right by the cilia carrying the food particles but in case of gulpers actually no water current is produced So these are the two types of ciliates: swellers and gulpers. Now next is suctoria. Ingestion process in suctoria. This is very characteristic group of ciliate. And uh, actually, suctoria suctorians um, feed with the help of their tentacles, which contain knob at their tip. and the tentacle contain a central tubular canal surrounded by contractile sheath you can see in the diagram this is the tentacle and this is uh, this is the body of the host and you can see some important structure haptocyst and this is the knob of the tentacle and there is a tubular canal in it so when prey actually comes in contact with the tentacle knob it gets adhered and paralyzed by some toxins and um, the cytoplasm of the host is sucked into the body of suctorians so they are provided with toxicist haptocyst these structures which help in the food capture suctorians are very important group of ciliates you can see in the diagram they have tentacles and they their their end is knob like and they help in the sucking of the food material of the host now come to digestion and assimilation digestion in protozoan it is intracellular that is food material always enclosed in a food vacuole that is it is uh, never taken into the cytoplasm but uh, are always enclosed in food vacuole in paramecium actually food vacuole moves in a definite path determined by the cytoplasmic streaming process and this process is known as cyclosis 
So the digestive enzymes are synthesized in endoplasmic cisterni and accumulate in a small vesicle known as lysosome which surround the food vacuole to pour the content into them. And digestion first occurs in acidic phase. Remember, it first, first stage is acidic phase, then alkaline phase. And as the digestion is proceeded, the food vacuole becomes smaller and content of the food vacuole is finally distributed in the cytoplasm by diffusion process. And this diffusion process is known as assimilation. The excess of the digestive food remains stored as glycogen, lipid, paramyelon bodies, chromatin bodies. So this is the digestion and assimilation. Now ingestion process is sorry, ejection process. Third one. So in amoeba, undigest, undigested food uh, actually is slowly sifted backward and left behind as there is no definite aperture is there but in flagellates and ciliates which have which are provided with pellicle the ejection process occurs at a fixed spot and it is known as cytopies or anal aperture and cytopies usually indistinct but become clear at the time of ejection in case of paramecium but it is permanent it is a permanent opening and a short rectal canal cytoproct leaves into it example Balentidium and Noctiluca. Now, saprozoic nutrition or pinocytosis. This is the second type of nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition, second type. Uh, it is uh, this process actually, in such type of nutrition is very common in parasitic form and colorless flagellates. And these forms do not have any special organelles for ingestion but they obtain nutrition in dissolved medium by simple diffusion through the general body surface examples are intamoeba histolytica monocystis balantidium coli grd intestinalis these are the parasites and pinocytosis actually it is uh, also known as cell drinking and uh, it is uh, found in amoeba and unlike diffusion, pinocytosis does not occur through the entire surface. So in this process, actually, the plasma membrane along with the colloidal food particles forms pinocytotic channel and it run uh, from the surface deeply into the endoplasm. The internal ends of these channels uh, actually breaks off and forms pinocytic channel pinocytic vesicles are also known as pinosome and uh, pinosome contain the ingested food material that is macromolecules and the type of food which cannot pass through the cell surface by the diffusion process so such uh, food material can reach the cytoplasm with the help of pinocytosis so pinocytosis cytic vesicles or pinosome later on these are these gets digested in the cytoplasm. Now come to third type of nutrition in protozoa. It is mixotropic nutrition. Actually, certain there are certain protozoans which are holophytic as well as saprozoic. That is, they such nutrition is known as sapro uh, sorry mixotrophic nutrition, right? Mix type of nutrition, holophytic as well as saprozoic, such as uh, in ceratium. It is autotrophic and holozoic. In euglena, it is holophytic and saprozoic. Uh, Balantidium coli and in uh, Tamiba histolytica, it is holozoic and saprozoic. So, certain protozoans uh, have mixotype, trophic type of nutrition is there. So, this is all about for nutrition in protozoa. And if you have not subscribed my channel, then please press bell icon and subscribe my channel and select all to get all the notification and my all videos so this is all about very very thank you many many thanks to you